Let's celebrate women and black women with International History Month. Let's celebrate the re-election of Assembly Member Stephanie Zinnerman. Yes, come on now. Yes. your hand. We need to 
needs a poster. She needs one. And if you don't want to see, just clap your hands. She like. She like. Cause I'm not gonna be. She like. She like. It's a woman's rally, but where's the fellas at? Fellas, make some noise. exciting. I like rallies, you know, they get, they get the blood flowing and get people out and whatnot, get them into a sense of purpose. And so that's what we're here for, a sense of purpose this morning, this afternoon, excuse me, this afternoon. So family and friends and colleagues in government, uh, we're here today to kick off the re-election of Stephanie Zinneman to the New York State Assembly. <laughs> Stephanie has become a part of the legacy of Albert Van, founder of VITA, and the concept of community empowerment. I say legacy because the VITA family has been representing this district for over 50 years. Over 50 years. So, bringing resources to the 56th Assembly District and also the 36th Council District, which Albert Van and I both represented. Vita's thrust toward community empowerment has been to identify those areas of need for our constituents. Housing, education, employment, 
senior youth services, economic development, health, social justice, and building institutions. Just want to share something with you since this VITA, Vanguard Independent Democratic Association, celebrated over 50 years, just not so long ago, and said so we're thankful to each and every one of you for the support that you've continued to, to give us. And so I just want to share something with you. VITA has a seven point program. And so perhaps you might want to become part of that, this organization, under the leadership of Henry L. Butler. Community empowerment, community empowerment and community control is the basic philosophy of VITA. In carrying out this philosophy, VITA shall strive on behalf of our community to gain influence, power, and control over goods and services, programs, and institutions that affect the quality of life in this community. Political education. VITA shall conduct ongoing political education and voter registration in order to bring about increased community participation in the electoral process. Youth. Our youth are our future. VITA shall place special emphasis on the election development, leadership training, program services, and advocacy on behalf of the youth of our community. Senior citizens. Our senior citizens are our family. Where are the senior citizens at? Oh my God, we got senior citizens out here. <laughs> oh, you all got your cards with you? You all got your, your red, white, and blue cards in your pocket? All right. <laughs> and, and health. Health care is a right for all. VITA shall strive to ensure, to ensure that all community members have equal access to quality health care to ensure that there are sufficient levels of health, manpower, funding services, programs, facilities, and institutions to serve the health needs of our community. Housing. Decent housing is a right for all. VITA shall strive to ensure that all community members have equal access to decent housing at a price they can afford. And then our seventh thrust is economic development. Economic development is the bedrock of community development as well as political development. VITA advocates the establishment of policies, programs, services, and financial assistance that forces the growth of minority, uh, of, for, of, as advocates the, the uh, financing of minority politicians by minority entrepreneurs as one of the best means of development political accountability. So with that being said, we, you know, as I said, we bring our resources to the forefront. Uh, so as elected officials, you do receive uh, some designated funds to be able to put back into the community. And we have done that in just so many ways, uh, as identified by some of the statements. So, and we have done that in, uh, in col collaboration with other like-minded electeds to identify and provide resources to accommodate that need. That is why it is so important that you are here today to say to Stephanie, we understand the task at hand and support your reelection. Finally. There are those who desire to stop the legacy. Hear me now. There are those that desire to stop the legacy. Why can't we continue our legacy of leadership in the 56th Assembly District? The Coalition for Community Empowerment for us was to determine our own leaders, not by outside forces to make that determination. So today you have said yes by your presence, but we must also say yes by making a financial contribution to the campaign. As I conclude, here is my contribution, and so all I need to know is how to make out this check. So therefore, I hope that each and every one of you will do the same. So therefore, there's no sense getting up and chit-chatting and talking, and if you're not gonna put your money where your mouth is, my check is right here. God bless you all, to all, to Stephanie and to her family. I wish you all well. And of course, to my district leader here of the 56th Assembly District, the Honorable Kanasia Tradum Cooper, and all of those on this podium here. Um, it's, this is an amazing podium up here. And of course you have the county leader of Kings County, the Honorable, the Honorable, the Honorable, Rodney's, Rodney's, I was getting ready to call her Hermelin. Rodney's, the shot, Hermelin, the county leader of Kings County. Let me tell you something, no, she does, 
she calls the shots. She calls big shots, and she's doing well. So she's a sh she's a big baller and a shot caller. That's what she is. All right. God bless you all, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Turn it up. Come on. Come on. I know y'all a little cold. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. What's her name? Yeah. What's her name? 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 ladies and all the women of Brooklyn Democratic Party, our advocates, our esteemed guests. Shout out to our mother of politics, Honorable Annette Robinson. <laughs> Shout out to our diva, our feisty, our strong, fierce Attorney General, <laughs> Letitia James. <laughs> Shout out to all the elected officials. I know we have some District leaders here, we have assembly member Maritza Davila. Shout out to our very own district leader here in Bed-Stuy, Kanesha Trayman Cooper. I see, I see so many people here. I see church in the house, D. Bailey. Yeah. I see, I see Soros in the house. How many Deltas in the house? I see President of Brooklyn Alumni Chapter in the house. I see so many beautiful faces. I see Tremaine. Tremaine, stand up. Yes. I see Latrice Walker, a seven member from Brownsville. 
Who, who? I see NAACP. This was the one I see NAACP in the house. Woo! So many beautiful people here. I want to thank you all for being here. We start off International Black Women's History Month. It's been a great enthusiasm and pride that I join all you on this wonderful Saturday for the 100 Women Rally for Stephanie. This rally is not just a gathering. It's a powerful testament to the resilience, strength, and leadership of women and of black women and a celebration of one exceptional leader, in particular, Assemblywoman Stephanie Zinnemann. Yeah. Stephanie Zinnemann has been a beacon of hope and progress in the 56th Assembly District and her dedication to our community knows no bounds. I'm proud to have my sister as a remarkable colleague in the Assembly. I can attest, along with so many in the People's House, that her tireless efforts have brought about tangible change, advancing equity and empowerment for all. From championing crucial legislative initiatives to tirelessly advocating for the underrepresented, Stephanie has proven herself as a steadfast advocate for progress of the Assembly District 56 and all of New Yorkers. But Stephanie's Im impact extends far beyond her legislative accomplishments. She embodies the essence, the essence of leadership, of women leadership, of black women leadership, inspiring others to join her in the fight for justice and equality. Her unwavering commitment to uplifting voices from all, all walks of life is the embodiment of a relentless representation and champion for all. As we celebrate Black Women's History Month, we making this history right now as we meet the moment for Brooklyn's Assembly District 56. Let's give a shout out again to our host by none other than our New York State Attorney General, Tish James. She is the first woman and black woman attorney general and a true champion for justice. We have so many black pioneers, women pioneers. You heard, you heard from our honorable Annette Robinson, who has paved the way, who has paved the way for so many of us and has mothered us as women politicians and future history makers. We are all here today as a testament to our rising recognition of all that we can achieve and the growing representation of black women at all levels of government. Looking at this barrier breaking crowd and community here, we are also in a testament to the immense support and admiration for Stephanie Zinnemann. We cannot let this momentum stop, y'all. We are going to, we are going right to the polls on June 25th, right? We gotta vote. We gotta exercise our rights to vote. We gotta empower our people because we wanna make sure that we continue to control and keep our community. We can't have people from outside coming in and speaking on our behalf, not knowing our struggles, not knowing the progress that we have made to keep our family whole, to keep the economics in our community to make sure that we have all the fundamental resources that we've been fighting for years, like housing, yes. food, resources, good schooling, yes. and to reduce crime. Yes. We've been fighting for years, people. We got, we got to stand up, we got to wake up. And so again, we want to thank the roster of all of you, our labor family. We have TWU in the house. We have President Davis in the house. Where is he? President Davis in the house. Let's give it to local TW, local 100. We have a lot more unions. Where's the other unions? They coming, okay? They are coming, okay? <laughs> so we are standing with Stephanie. We are standing shoulder to shoulder, united in our commitment to progress, equity, and commitment, community empowerment. So I'm urging you to let's continue to keep making history and positive change for our communities. 
and our borough. And let's get out the vote. Let's get out the vote as a transformative force of change with Assembly Member Stephanie Zinnemann. Let's spread the love the Brooklyn way. Let's stay, Woo! We love you, Stephanie. Come on, get on your feet. Come on. Let's go. Joe, turn it up. What's her name? Now, come on. Got to hear you. What's her name? Joe, a little louder. I will walk a crooked mile. Yes. Come on. On the backs of crocodiles. Come on. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Hold your signs up high and let everybody know who our assembly member will be. Her name is Stephanie Zinnemann. Let them know. Let them know. nobody gonna be able to play with and you know what she's done well she's done well I've witnessed her work I have witnessed her relentlessness when it comes to her district she is the right person for this job and you have to keep her in there I'm gonna make this short and sweet please write your check please write your check Let's keep her in there. We need her right now. I'm on my way to Albany. We are passing a robust budget and we need to stay focused in order to bring in all the policies and monies that we need to bring back to our homes. So trust and believe that Stephanie Zinnerman is doing everything she can to make sure that she's bringing in the resource to your district. Please, please, please support her. I love you, Stephanie, and I know you're gonna do well. God bless you. I love you. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Turn it up, turn it up. Park Prospect, Leopard's Gardens. 
and I'm here to talk about my sister, Stephanie Zimmerman. I'm here to let you know that we are in a crisis. We are in a crisis. We have elected officials who represent us, but they don't think like us. Because we have not been doing our due diligence. All right, we have allowed people to come into our community and some of them look like us, but they don't think like us. They don't act like us and they don't care about us. They got their own agenda. But this sister right here, Stephanie, she's one of us. She's from our community. She believes in what you believe in. She believes in what I believe in. She's a woman of God, a woman of faith. And she wants to do what is absolutely best for her constituency. She doesn't care what people say. She's going to do what she knows is right, and she's going to work from the heart. And it is our obligation, every last single one of us, I'm not saying you, because we are in this together. It is our obligation to ensure that we get people to go down to the polls and to vote for our assembly member. She has been here for you. She has not fallen. She has not faulted. She has been faithful. So we have to ensure that when the New York delegation is sworn in, that Stephanie is at the helm. She has earned it. Our sister, Honorable Letitia James, she told us to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to keep it short, but I'm not keeping it sweet. Do your job. Vote for our sister. Do your job. Get the young people. Any young person that comes into my home that isn't registered, I register them. My son is 37. Every last one of his friends, and Latisha knows some of them. And Honorable Assembly Member Annette Robinson does too. So does our, my county leader. She knows them too. They know. You walk in my house, you're going to get registered. You walk in my house, you're going to vote. They still call me, Miss Ingrid, who we voting for. Anybody that lives in the 56 already know. We are voting for who? We are voting for who? That's right. That's what we're going to do. And put your money where your mouths are. All right? It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot. You don't have to give $100, $200. Give what you can. All right? Because they support theirs. And I'm talking about the DSA when I say they. All right? They support theirs. So we got to support ours. And you already know, I'm a sister. I love you. I've been running around. I was here earlier. I was, I was the first one here. And I had to run around, and I'm still running around, so I cannot stay. But if I would find it intolerable for me to commence my day if I did not come here to lend my support to this sister. And I'm not just lending my support. I am lending the support of the mayor of the city of New York. This was a women's event. But the mayor endorses and supports this sister. Because we need more people in leadership positions. We need to retain the ones that we have and we need to bring in others. So if you know some young people that are dedicated, that care about their community, that want to ensure that what we need, we are provided with, direct them to us. Because I'm taking in all young people. I got a lot of young interns. I'm taking in all young people. And so is Stephanie. We be fighting over them. <laughs> she's like, she's like, don't take them all. We be fighting over them. Now I wish you blessings, sister. God got you covered. God got you covered. I love you. Let's give it up for Ingrid Lewis Martin and the mayor of the city of New York, Eric Adams. We all know what's at stake, which is why we got to vote for who? For who? Okay, so I know it's a woman's rally, but I want to hear from Labor, and I want to hear from the president of the Transport Workers Union. How many of you believe in Labor? Make some noise! How many of you got a pension? Make some noise! How many of you earn minimum wage? Make some noise! Only one or two people, all right.
not really a dancer or uh, uh, big into music. I am a DJ in my younger days, but not a good dancer. And now, of course, Tish put me on the spot here today because I didn't expect to speak. But uh, Stephanie is very fortunate because the people standing in the stage with you support you very heavy. Tish, call us out here. We're out here to support you. We have Local 100, make some noise! We are 46,000 strong. And we intend, we put boots on the ground. That's what we do. Outside of money, money we can give, but boots on the ground is the most important thing, important thing you could do in election to win the election. So we intend to support you. I have to say one thing on this stage. I used to bring my daughter to this Restoration Plaza for, for, for violin lessons and guitar lessons. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be standing here in front of a public speaking to you all in this community. But I am proud to say that Albany has changed. And now we have people like Latrice Walker, Rodney's Bichat, and I'm not gonna say Hermely because Hermely is Guyanese, but I'll, I'll go beyond that. I am Guyanese, but it's okay. But, <laughs> but these great leaders on this stage it's what's carrying New York right now. And I'm so proud as a man to stand here, here next to this wonderful, wonderful, amazing attorney general, Max Amon, Patrice Jones! And these are the leaders that help you tell us what to do and what candidates should win, and we will follow that lead. And I want to say we'll be here for you 100%. Local 100 is a very, very politically driven union and very strong. And my predecessor was the same way I intend to be more, more and more involved in political aspirations for women. I have a lot of young women around me working that I actually bring into this union hall. I probably have the most of any president ever because without the women, yes, without the women in the local, I don't, I'm not standing here in front of you. So local, one more time, make noise. What's her name? What's her name? What's your name? One more time, what's your name? Local 100, thank you. I want to thank CWU for coming out, but I do want to say that my dad was a member of Local 100 CWU, and in my first election, they all came out before you got here and supported my first election. I didn't have a in the second one, but they're back again, and I love each and every one of you for it. Give Sharice my love. Thank you very much, CWU. Come on, Joe, turn it up. Let's go. So next, all throughout the city of New York, people get she and I confused, but there's no confusion over this system. She hails from I don't know. I don't know, Tish. All I can say is, what is this music? I am from Brownsville. Hold on, Mr. DJ. Mr. DJ. Can I get some, I don't know, MOP, Annie Up? Can I, can I, I'm like, I'm from Brownsville, so if y'all ready for that fire, we're going to set it off. I'm, look, I'm, I wouldn't even be mad if we set it off on the left, y'all. Set it off on the right, y'all. Set it off. Come on, y'all. Set it off. Where at? On the left. On the right.
we do it. This is how we do it for our sisters. And when you rock against one of us, you set it all of us off. So of the set it off crew, I'ma be Queen Latifah. for being here. I want to thank and honor my former colleague, Annette Robinson, um, our great AG, Letitia James, and Stephanie Zinnerman. So we have 52 women now in the New York State Assembly. I do not want to lose any one of them. I also am somebody who comes from community. And in my mind, that is the criteria you need to have when you go to vote in this election. Somebody who is from community, who understands community, who is not just about a theory, not just about something that is doctrinaire. It's great to have theories. I love theories. But what I love more are people doing the work. People who are in community, improving the lives of the people in their district, who know their neighbors, and who know how they feel, who know their struggles. That is what we need in office, because when we become divorced from that, then things go haywire and government stops working for the people. So I am here to support Stephanie because I want to support a sister, but also because I want someone who I know is grounded in this community and who understands this community and can deliver for this community because she is going to Albany speaking for this community. So I am here just to add my voice. I'll be brief, Tish, because I don't want to mess with the AG, you know? Um, to just say, I'm lending my support to Stephanie. We're gonna work hard for her reelection. And um, all you need to do is not just go and vote. Yes, you need to write those checks. You need to get your friends to write those checks and you need to bring your friends to the polls, and you need to register more voters. Those people who say, you know, hey, I never vote. You know what happens when you don't vote? You end up with elected officials that don't represent you. That is the message. You have to register to vote. You have to come out and vote. And you have to come out and vote for people who represent the community and whose voice will be heard 
in Albany representing your community. So I leave you with those words. Thank you, Stephanie Zinnerman! mentor me, but they have deposited, deposited so much into who I am today. So can we just give a round of applause for everybody on this stage? And I, I want to, of course, mention my political mother, the Dr. Annette Robinson, who I absolutely love, who takes me by the hand all the time. And tell me to sit down sometimes if I have to, like just relax, just relax. <laughs> but I wanted to just remind everybody of who this amazing woman is, our Assemblywoman Stephanie Zinnemann. She's number one, the first, if maybe second or first, I would say, in Albany, who said to me I was going to be in politics when I was in my teenage years. And I felt that that was just so amazing of her to just see something in me that I didn't even see in myself. And so me being on this stage and I can truly say this woman is not just saying that she's doing things. She truly represents not only Bed-Stuy but every person here individually. She loves us. She goes to bat for us, she goes to all me fighting for us. So I want you to understand right now, we're in a fight. Yes. Yes. See, y'all y'all don't really understand. I know sometimes I usually be a little nice and sweet. Yes. But when it's time to fight, yes. we all fight. Yes. This is where we from, right? Yes. So I want you to understand this woman right here, she fights with all of you may know me, right? You may come to me and say, oh, I need to, I need some help with funds for this school. I need some help with, with this youth. And I need, to, guess what? I may not have funds or I may not have certain things, but guess what? She is the one that is fighting for every single thing that you're asking me to do. I go right to my assembly woman yes. and she does it yes. Yes. with no problem, no problem. So we just need you to do one thing, support. Whether it's a check, whether it's you coming out and voting, whether it's you calling your friends, your family, knocking on doors, volunteering. We need a lot of volunteers right now. I'm not going to act like this is just something that, that's, that's easy to do. It's not hard either though. With all of us, it's not hard. We can make this happen and we will. 
We will make this happen because we're family, right? And family sticks up for each other. So this is my big sister, and I'm coming to you asking you for help. This is help. This is a cry for help for you to get involved if you haven't been. If you have been, continue and do more. Every one of us can do more. All of us. So knock on your neighbor's doors, knock on your friend's doors, get your family out. Th those banners that you see, put them in your window. Yes. Yes. It's important. Because understand, if we don't fight like she's fighting for us in Albany, if we don't fight now, guess what? What we don't want will automatically happen. Yes. Yes. So it's up to us. So what's her name? Stephanie. What's her name? What's her name? Stephanie. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Okay, to my last remaining speakers, the food's getting cold, okay? So we got to keep it short. Our next speaker who hails all the way over from Canarsie in East Flatbush. She's an assemblywoman who's not new to this, but true to this. She's someone who has been on the forefront of gun violence, standing up on women's rights, standing up against domestic violence. Ladies and gentlemen, get on to your feet for our assemblywoman, Monique Chandler Waterman. Food's getting cold. Thank you to our Attorney General. You know, when she called, we all come. But Stephanie, you know, my, my sister. Thank you to all the leaders. Thank you to Mama Robinson, who's been in my family from since I was younger, grooming and drooming, right? So I just want to say, we can't wait till after the election to talk about what woulda, coulda, shoulda, or what we should be doing. When we know someone who's been in the street, been fighting for our rights, NAACP down. I remember when we were out in the streets from COVID. I remember Stephanie coming, I'm coming here, Monique, can you come there? Before we were elected, she was doing the work. She was helping other leaders, making sure that they are edifying their spaces. She's from the community. We gotta make sure those are from the community who's representing us, we come out strong for them. You leave no question, leave no doubt. We can't talk about what someone else is doing. What are we doing? And we're not gonna just go out and vote, just for us voting, bring your family, bring your friends, tell someone. She don't even have to call you directly. You know what's needed in a campaign. We need bodies on the ground. We need money in the account. We need to make sure the message goes out there. We need to make sure, and let me tell you something. A lot of people like to do this like thing of who they like, who they don't like. I love you as a sister. I love you as a human being, and I love the work that you're doing and advocating, and we're great partners. The love for your community. When I think of bed and I think about what we need, I'm coming to my sister here. So we, it's not about who we like, it's about the mission, our future for our children. Do you love the kids? Do you love yourself? Do you love your community? Then what it's about is making sure someone who can best represent. Let me tell you, I promise you, we are not perfect as people, as elected officials about anything, but what we are is we are one that's going to go and fight, and I promise you, you have a fighter right here. So the way she fight, we need to all be out there fighting. Please tell everyone, let's go out and make sure we vote, make sure we support before, after, during the voting cycle. So please, your New York State Assembly member, Monique Chandler, Warden, come from East Flatbush, making sure that we get what we got to get done in bed. Star. I love you, love you, love you. Monique laying it down. So, before we get to the honoree, we want to hear from individuals from the neighborhood and from the community. First, we're going to hear from Blondell Pinnock, and then she's going to be joined by, where are my sororities at? Delta's in the house? Kenya Johnson? And then followed by clergy, and then We'll have the, my co-MC who's going to bring up the woman of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from Blondell Pinnock and Miss Kenya Johnson. Quickly, food is getting cold. <laughs> Don't make me stink, pay payers, my Detroit players, Tim for my Huna games in Brooklyn. That's red right, to the head right, Biggie there, and I. Papa been fooled since days of under rules. Never lose, never choose to. Bruce, Bruce, who? Do something to us. Talk, go, do us. Where you at? Do us. Wanna do us. Screw us. Screw us. 
Yeah, Papa and Pump. Two flights, Foski and Hutch. Six clutch. Yeah, I squeeze three at your cherry M3. Bang every MC easily. Take easily. Recently, for it ain't saying nothing, so I just speak my piece. Keep my piece. Cubans with the Jesus piece. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna be short. I'm gonna be short and sweet. My name is Blondell Penna, and I'm speaking here today um, not on any titles, not representing anything, but just as myself as Blondell, as a community supporter. Um, and I got the call, and when you get the call <laughs> from the Attorney General, you do not say no. But more importantly, I got the call telling me to come and show up for my friend, my friend and my colleague, Stephanie. And there was no question that I was not going to be here today. Because Stephanie speaks truth to power. Since I have been here, I have witnessed her and the work that she's been doing for Bed-Stuy. She is of Bed-Stuy. She is for Bed-Stuy. She is compassionate. She is intentional. And she is strategic. And because of that, I support her in everything that she does. We have become colleagues, we have become peers, but more importantly, we become friends. And I appreciate her counsel, I appreciate her advice. And so I am here to make sure that everyone also understands that Stephanie gets it. She understands the importance of economic development, supporting local small businesses along this corridor. She understands the importance of protecting home ownership's rights and our seniors and our seniors, making sure that we maintain and they're not displaced in our community. Stephanie doesn't talk the talk, she walks the walk. She's taken up the issue to fight legislation that will protect, to support legislation that will protect our vulnerable population from deed theft. And because of that, not only is she helping to do that to ensure that bed die stays, bed die. <laughs> she is also committed to addressing food insecurity, housing, and most importantly, arts and culture. Stephanie knows that because as a youth, Stephanie took dance lessons right here. <laughs> she, she understands the importance of arts and culture within our community and why our children need it, because they need to see themselves, they need to be able to have their own voices and understand their history and contribution to this community and to this world. In November, she hosted a press conference for the official opening of the Culture Museum of African Art. And while we gained a new tenant, <laughs> the community gained a masterpiece dedicated to African diaspora. This project meant so much to us in Bed-Stuy and beyond, and we share the love of culture, and we thank you, Stephanie, for bringing this project to fruition. So that is all I have to say. <laughs> I'm being taken off. What's her name? What's her name? My name is Kenya Johnson. I'm the president of the Brooklyn Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. But moreover, I'm here today as Kenya Johnson, a friend, a mentee of Assemblywoman Stephanie Zinnerman. When I call, this woman answers. When I wanted to do a workshop on literacy for our children, Stephanie answered. We did a workshop on black maternal health, Stephanie answered. Stephanie walks the walk and talks the talk. She's ingrained in the dish in 56th district. She knows the blocks block by block. We don't need anyone else to come into this community and tell you what's happening, what they're going to do, but where you've been for so many years. So Stephanie needs you to come out and walk the walk and talk, the, talk with her to the polls. Do not just come today to listen, to cheer, and say her name, and that, do not vote. So please. Stephanie, I want to say I love you, and you have my support always, always, and I'm here for you. Thank you. We're coming to the end. We're going to hear from the honoree in just a few minutes, but before we do that, um, I want to apologize. We're going to hear from Michelle Patterson, who represents the Black Caucus of the CSA. Is labor in the house? And his members of 371 in the house. 
Anthony Wells just texted me and unfortunately he had a conflict in his schedule and cannot make it, but he wanted everyone to know that 371 proudly endorses Stephanie Zinnerman! And now let's welcome Michelle Patterson of VCCSA. <laughs> Woo, good afternoon. I serve as the president of the Black Caucus of the CSA, the Council of Supervisors and Administrators. And I have some of my members here today, the Bailey Sisters. We have Rose Graham on our executive board. And we are so proud to be here and to be civically engaged. I have a profound sense of enthusiasm and conviction as we discuss the pivotal work and leadership of Assembly member Stephanie Zinnerman in an era where progress is not just desired, but it is imperative. Assembly member Zinnerman has proven herself to be a beacon of hope, commitment, and especially action. I have to lift up her dedication that is not merely rhetorical, but tangibly demonstrated. As others have mentioned, we can look and see the Cultural Museum of African American Art, Eric Edwards Collection, here in our very own bed sty So it's so important because Stephanie understands that we have to be able to see ourselves reflected around us, lift up our history for us to be able to move into our future. She has also been pivotal in collaboration with the Amistad uh, Commission and legislation. She has worked tirelessly with us supporting funding legislation for community schools and the EEAPC Black Studies Curriculum, New York's historic first Black Studies Curriculum going across New York City in every borough as we speak. Stephanie brought us up to Albany. Stephanie has introduced us to the people that we need to be in contact with. That is who she is. She is about action. She is about measurable action and profound action. I thank you, I support you, and I made it short and sweet. <laughs> yes, listen, we heard from Brownsville, we heard from downtown Brooklyn, we heard from Clinton Hill, we heard from Canarsie, and now the woman who from East New York is in the house. She wants to just be recognized, Assemblywoman Nikki Lucas. Is Ms. Sheila Davis here? Ms. Davis? Ms. Davis, are you here? Ms. Davis, come on up. We want to hear from Ms. Davis from Church Women United, and we also want to close from the great Bishop of Bedford-Stuyvesant, Bishop Chantel Wright. Give it up for this powerful Bishop. Come on, Sheila Davis. This is Sheila Davis from Church Women United. Y'all better stand, come on. I'm not here for Church Women United today. I'm here for Sheila Davis, the individual. We know who we have, we know what she has done, and we know what she will do. So I'm making it real short and sweet. You all know what you gotta do. You gotta touch your neighbors, your friends, your family, everybody all around you, and make sure they come out and vote and get that money. I want all of you to turn to your neighbors and say, are you gonna bring 10 people to the polls? Turn to your neighbor, 10 people to the poll. Are you bringing 10 to 20 people to the poll? Are you gonna contact your neighbor? Are you gonna hold a block association meeting? Are you gonna have a coffee clutch or a fundraiser? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, before we hear from the honoree, we've gotta bless this event. And if you, Listen, yesterday there was an earthquake. You're about to experience an earthquake now. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most powerful women of God, I bring you, yes, and bishops can be women. Bishop Chantel Wright, give it up. I come in the name of my father. And there's a story in the 20th division of the Book of Numbers, and they're called the Daughters of Zelophehad. And they had an issue with the distribution of the land. 
And so these girls came forward with strength and authority. And they said, well, our father did not have a son, but this land belongs to us. And so Moses went back and he came in in front of the high priest and he went in before his Lord Yahweh. And what ended up happening was they got their land. But two things happened. They had the strength to go forward. And so we pray that Stephanie has the strength to continue forward. But the other part of it was is that their sisters came behind them. Something happens when women come together that doesn't happen when the boys come together. The White House knows it and they're counting on black women one more time to close this election. So here we are as women who are standing together, who have come together to support our sister. Be careful. Be careful that you don't find yourself in a place where you're gossiping and murmuring and where you're complaining about what you don't think that she's doing because you don't understand what happens when they sit at the table. The only responsibility we have is to pull out our pocketbooks and get on our knees and pray. Father, we come today and we thank you. We thank you for this time of coming together. We thank you for the charge that has gone forward and we stand united in your name. We come now and we lift up our sister Stephanie before you and we pray that a fresh anointing fall on her, that she be able to run this race with great dignity, courage, honor, to give you all of the honor and glory and praise. Father, we come. We come standing together as unified women of God, women of purpose, women of destiny, and we lay it all on the line now for the sake of our community that our children and our children's children will be blessed afar off. We come and we pray, Father, that you would bless us to come together and be unified, that the words that come out of our mouths be unity, that our stand be unity, and we come against every force that wants to come in and infiltrate our community in your name. We send them back empty handed without anything today. Heavenly Father, we thank you now for the strength that you've given us. We thank you for the purpose that you've given us. And we would be remiss if we didn't clap our hands and give you a praise. We clap our hands and we give you a praise. And I decree and declare victory has been won and it has been established on this day in your name. Amen. Bishop, yeah, come on, Joe, make some noise. Yeah, we got to dance that one off. Come on, y'all, we got to dance that one off. Yeah, what's her name? 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 name? Everybody got a sign. Do you got a sign? Do you got a sign? Do you got a sign? Come on. Do you got a sign? I now turn it over to introduce the woman of the hour, Commissioner Portia Albert. All right now, we have heard some powerful words today. And now, my name is Chanel Portia Albert. I'm the founder of Ancient Song. We are a community-based organization here at best And I just want to give a brief story about this amazing woman right here. Prior to her even taking office, she has shown up for community every single day. Asian Song experienced a fire right here in Stuyvesant Mansion. And when we didn't have a place to be, Stephanie made sure that she opened up space for our organization to be able to function so that we can continue to support pregnant and parenting women of best side. And so let me tell you something about that. That means that not only was, she's not doing this for clout. She's not doing this to show face. She's doing this because this is coming from her heart, from her soul, and because she cares about community. There's a difference between being in community and being extensions of community. And Stephanie is a true extension of our community who is fighting for us every single day. Every single minute, every hour. If you knew how this woman stood up to the wee hours of the morning, 
trying to figure out how to make things work. When I'm calling, I'm shaking. I'm like, sis, you all right? Did you eat today? Are you, uh, did you take care of yourself today? Because I know how hard she is giving it up for us every single day. So let's, let's give a round of applause for her. Come on, Stephanie. Come on, Stephanie. Come on, assembly member Stephanie, my sister. Come on now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for each and every one of you for coming here, braving this weather to support the 56th Assembly District. Because as Chanel just said, I am an extension of you. You are an extension of me. We can't do this unless we are united together. Tish, the world famous, the global diva, who everybody will come when, they, when she calls. The one who we are waiting to just end our misery by putting that orange gorilla behind behind closed doors. I thank you for this call of action. I remember in 2018, we stood here on Harriet Tubman Way and marched our way to Boys and Girls High School for another leader in this community, my predecessor, Tremaine Wright. And we founded Woman Up bed -Stuy, and we said that day that women would lead the way. Not without our brothers, but in lockstep with our brothers. Because our journey is a little different than those that are male. And we need each other. We need the sisterhood in order to bring it on home. And so I wanna thank you. I wanna thank Annette Robinson, of course. She gave you the history of Vita and that is the club that I come out of. That is the tradition for which we need to continue in this community. I want to thank all of my sister friends who have spoken today, those who I have walked with, marched with, cried with, prayed with, and risen to victory with. Because they're all leaders in their own right. So my speech is long, but I'm going to skip through it because we've been out for a long time. But there's so many things that I want to say to you. But first I want to start out by saying, where there is women, there is magic. Those are the words of our sister Shange, and I, that is why I also stand with sisters. Today we're not just gathering as individuals, we are gathering as an exceptional force for change. From the halls of Albany to every corner in the 56th Assembly District, where you will find a woman, you will find magic. Yes. I am Assembly Member Stephanie Zinnerman, and I am proud to represent Bedford Stuyvesant and Crown Heights in what we call the vibrant 56th Assembly yeah. District. Every day I devote myself to cultivating community, cultivating civics, cultivating a collaborative move that we can all take collective pride in. It is my honor to go to Albany every single Day during this during the season to fight for the resources that we all need that you've all asked for that we can all take again collective pride in in my three years as assemblywoman I am proud to say that I worked very hard to pass the reparations bill I helped to identify two members who sit on that commission and in this year's budget we have allocated $5 million so that they could do the work of coming up with reparation remedies. That check is coming due. In my past, I've, I've sponsored the community hiring bill, have helped pass the Clean Slate Act to ensure that every returning citizen and those who are chronic, chronically unemployed have a pathway to economic freedom. As a member of the Legislative well, um, Women's Caucus, I helped to codify that a woman in New York State will always have the right to choose. I've helped to secure $2.4 billion to ensure that families have access to childcare so they can go back to work. $800 million in funding for small business recovery and grant pro programs. $2.1 million in annual funding for the next generation to be trained as environmental science and make sure that we meet our clean air and water goals. $40 million in funding for a new arts re recovery program and in this very district right upstairs, $2 million in order for us to have a collection 
of African artifacts, over 3,000, that took over 50 years to collect, but it only took us two years to, to, to build that space. And so across the 56th Assembly District, we have gathered coalitions together, artists, artists who have created spaces and residencies to onboard the next generation, and also to attract the global community to spend their dollars in bed and Crown Heights. Our change makers support our elders with healthy aging initiatives so that we can age in place. I wanna shout out Age Friendly Central Brooklyn. We have a network of strong youth development organizations that engage our youth in civics, STEAM, sports, mental health services, rites of passage, restorative justice practices to promote peace and ensure that they're of their growth and development. Please shout out both sides of the violence, Kavi and the bro space. We see people with disabilities, we amplify their needs and we provide local services that we have a more inclusive and vibrant community. I wanna thank my brother Mark. Where's Mark? Mark is there with his, Mark is deaf and blind and he's one of the best advocates that I know. And so when we're outside and we are yelling into the mic and we're doing all the, understand that there are people who can't hear you. There are people who can't see you, but they can feel your energy and they can understand what it is when you welcome them into a space and provide the technology and the services so that they can be full participants. While I am proud of what I, I have achieved, I continue to stand firm and demand more for the 56th Assembly District. When reflecting on the challenges we encounter both personally and professionally within our broader community, I am reminded of our steadfast commitment to driving transformative change in the areas of housing, healthcare, education, economic development, and public safety. So I want you to know today I stand for nurturing our community's health and prioritizing wellness for all. Ladies, your well-being is not a policy point for me. It is a sacred trust. As your representative, I am deeply committed to ensuring accessible health care for all. I want us to grow our own food, reclaim our sovereignty over our choices. I want us to continue to protect our safety net hospitals, the lifelines to our community, and let us prioritize the maternal health of those mothers who shape our community and let not one more child leave a hospital and orphan. I stand for women securing their homes and advocating for stable and affordable housing. Our homes are more than just four walls and a roof. They are sanctuaries where our dreams take flight. Yet the dream of stable and affordable housing remains out of reach for too many of our community. That is going to end now. Together we will ensure that our community's needs come first by shielding tenants from unjust evictions and tailoring housing solutions to our diverse community and its challenges. I stand for empowering futures by investing in education and literacy. Education, as we know, is the cornerstone of, our, of opportunity. Let us pass the Amistad Act, ensuring that children see themselves reflected in their education. Let us stand and expand the Underground Railroad, guiding our youth on a journey of discovery and empowerment. And let us restructure mayoral control, giving our community a stronger voice in shaping our schools. I stand for building economic and, economic and resil resilient communities and fostering entrepreneurship. It is a moral imperative that we amplify the voices of women in color and business and ensure equal opportunities for all. I wanna thank Oma and Nicole and Tiara and all of the sisters at Bridge Street for the work that they do to support the five corridors in our community. We will bolster our, we will bolster our not-for-profit community um, organizations and together we will end workplace gender disparities and build a future every individual can thrive, where they can thrive. We must learn from our sisters in labor who get paid the same as men because that is what it means to be union strong. I stand for public safety, for peace, protection, and preparedness. Your safety is my highest priority. Let us ensure that every corner of the 56 is a center of peace that eradicates, eradicates gun violence. P 
Peace is a value system and one that we must promote and practice. Together we will ensure that requests for proposals for gun violence reduction covers our entire district and not just certain corridors. We must stay ready so that we don't have to get ready. Yesterday we had an earthquake of 4.9 9, magnitude, but what if it had been 9.8? Do you have a plan? Would you have been ready? We must take the emergency preparedness training that I offer at least twice a year, make a plan for our families and keep those free gold bags up, updated so that you can be re ready for whatever. I will forever stand for championing women's rights, fighting discrimination and promoting mentorship. I am deeply committed to addressing the unique challenges faced by women. So let's stand against discrimination in all forms, championing me membership, and developing leadership pi pipelines for the next generation so that we ensure that every woman in our community has the support and guidance to reach new heights. So whether you're the attorney general, a barista, a caregiver, a doctor, an esthetician, a geologist, a healthcare worker, an insurance agency, a Jane of all trades, or a key maker, you have magic. Whether you are a neurosurgeon, order clerk, painter, quick book specialist, residential counselor, safety agent, teacher, urban planner, veterinarian, welder, x-ray technician, whether you're young, gifted, and black, or a Zinnerman, we are all magical and vital members of this sisterhood. And we stand on the business for our people. So I want each and every one of you to stand in your power. I need you to stand in the power of your vote. When you stand with Stephanie, you stand on doing the business of the people. When you vote for me, you vote for the people. So today we will sprinkle a little magic across and around the 56th Assembly District like we do every day, but especially on Tuesday, June 25th, Election Day. Thank you all for your love and your support. Let's hit these streets. Let's let these people know who we are. And let's thank each and every one of you who have come to prepare for this day. I want to thank Tish for her leadership. I want to thank for her power, for bringing you all together here today. I want to thank each and every one of you who have always showed up for bed to volunteer. So if you are a volunteer, please shake your, please raise your hand. This is the cornerstone of our community. These are the people these are the people who make other people want to come to bed -Stuy. They can come, they can visit, they can leave their money, but they cannot leave. Thank you. Let's give it up for Stephanie. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. We got an action plan for all of you. But come on, DJ, I want to shout out. We got any teachers in the house? We got Anthony Harmon of UFT. UFT proudly supports Stephanie Zitterman. We got Bridge Street Development in the house. Where are you? Sharani Perry, where are you? Woo! Renee Gregory of Brownstoners, where are your Brownstoners at? We got Joy Williams. If you're a member of NAACP, make some noise. If you graduated from CUNY or Mega Evers, Evelyn Castro is here. And if you've ever seen or danced stars of New York, Cheryl Todman is here. I danced, but I lost. But I was robbed. Come on, DJ. Come on, DJ. Here we go. Let's dance. No. Sit a
It is an honor to serve this woman of leadership. When I first met her, she gave me a quiz on civic engagement, and I went back and did my homework. We have to protect our civic leaders and the women leadership in our community, because without them, a, a, a community that isn't supported women, when we support women in a community, we support the community. And so it would be remiss if I didn't do my job and give you the call to action. This campaign need bodies. We need people power. Today we showed up with people power and we need to keep the energy going. I am so happy that on April 10th, Wednesday, we are officially opening our office and launching the 100 Women Coalition that is standing with Stephanie. Women Wednesdays is activated. Every day, every Wednesday until June 25th, we need you to come into Vita office, 399 Tompkins Avenue, sign up. I will be there on Wednesday at 10 a.m. We need you. We cannot do this without you. And we did not forget about the men because the men hold us down and we are happy to work alongside them. Men Mondays of the 56, please sign up with us on Mondays. Mondays and Wednesdays, we need you. This Saturday and Sunday, we are hitting the pavement. We need grounds, we need boots to the streets. So I ask that before you leave here, you go and sign up at the table. And guess what? We also need you to support financially. Women in elected office, especially black women, are not often supported as much as their white counterparts. And it's important that we show the DSA and everyone else that we have people power in this campaign. Just as little as $10 if you live in this district will be matched by the state and we need your support. So I thank you, I thank you for supporting us, I thank you for, come out, for coming out, and I cannot wait to see you at Vita. Please come out and sign up with us. We need you, thank you so much. So if everyone goes to the right, you can enter. Okay, so I want, um, Henry Butler has an event coming up Soon we'll be having a, a forum and a, another rally with residents of public housing. We're going to do a ch church a clergy breakfast. We have a number of events coming forward because we, I know that we will win this. The only question is, what is the margin of victory? And I want everyone to know that I want a large margin of victory because I want to see great victory with this wonderful sister. Thank you all for coming, God bless you, and thank you, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Please don't make a stop. Don't make a stop, hey! Please don't make a stop. Don't get on the road.